Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Ashlyn Black and welcome back to the stream. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. It's actually Friday this time. What's good? What's up? Vero, thank you so much for the 1500 biddies. Oh, I appreciate that. New month, damn right. Thank you. New month, new biddies. Yay. Yeah, I actually reset my goals over here. I remembered this time. Yeah, because it is. It's April now and today is April Fool's. Uh... I haven't seen a lot of April Fools. That doesn't mean that there aren't a lot out there. It just means that I have not been paying attention. However, I did see the April Fools for Cyberpunk. Holy shit, we got we got to talk about this. It's good. I wish it was real. Nick, hi. How are you guys? This is my brother. That that's my brother. Nick, hi. Thank you so much for the birthday card from um the family. And tell Beckett I said hi and love. Thank you. I really appreciated that. How are you doing? River Rat, it's so good to see you. I'm glad you're liking the new job. Bjorn, hello. Nan, how's it going? I'm so glad everyone's here. Thank you, guys. And Vero, thank you um, again for the biddies. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, what is what is new, everyone? Silverblade, hi. Happy Friday. You will thank you. Tell him I said hi and love and uh, hi and love to the wife as well. And of course, they had a mom and dad for me. How you been? What you been up to? Oh, that's not at all. Oops, it's a good thing you guys can't see my screen right now. Anyways, okay. Cyberpunk. Uh, April. Fools. 2022. Let's see if we can pull this up. Dun, 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 dun. Where is it? Just you know what? It's probably on Twitter. Uh, hang on. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven patch one point six nine. They did that on purpose, which is great. Why can I not find it, bro? I found it on a freaking Instagram. Are you kidding? Patch 1.69. Just show me the thing. Maybe it's on their actual website. I need you guys to see this. It's hysterical. Silverblade, hello, gorgeous. How are you and the waifu? We are doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. How are you? But, but how are you, though? Uh... Photo mode. No, no, it's not on their official Twitter. Okay, okay. Uh, no. News? Why can I not find this? Was this, like, not actually done by CDPR, but instead by the fan page? Okay, maybe I do have to pull up mainstream. Hang on. Hang on. Cyberpunk fan page. I know it's on there. Okay. You know... Best update since release, can we? Okay. I don't know if this is official, but I'm going to show this to you guys. Hang on. Let's go ahead and do display capture here. All right. Hopefully no one's saying anything inappropriate over there. Uh, it's good. My coworkers and I called off, but still show up to prank my boss. Ha! Huh? Nice! Oh, man. Gave him a hard attack. Porn? Probably porn. No, I mean, it was my Instagram, so it's kind of porn. Uh, lewd screen. Yes, yes, yes. I bought a 3080 Ti today. God damn it! You were the fourth person that I know personally who's gotten a 3080 Ti in the last week. Congrats! I'm so happy for you. I actually am. I'm just... <sighs> my birthday present to myself gets in next week i'm so excited that's super fantastic i am uh dm me with how much you paid for it if you're comfortable discussing that uh because i'm curious because i've i've heard a big range of of prices from all these people you got 3080 ti literally yesterday yep yep <laughs> uh there is stock check your best buy bro I need money to get it first. I Even if it's there, I'm not going to be able to get it. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Patch 1.69. Coming soon. Swipe to see the patch notes. This might just be um, 
from this fan page, right? But here we go. Uh, it's being rolled out soon. Gameplay, no changes. Uh, balance, okay, that was actually like... Uh, they, they've mixed things in with actual patch notes, okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fix an issue where Rogue would... Uh, Rogue was spawning next to the player after calling her and asking about Adam Smasher. Rogue just pops up and she's like, I don't like him. Okay. Added Wakako romance side quest. Fixed an issue where Johnny glitching out of uh, nowhere in Jig Jig, Jig, Jig Street uh, that somehow prevent you from triggering Wakako's uh, or Wakako's personal side quest. I don't know why I can't say Wakako all of a sudden. Additional content. Uh, Wakako's apartment. You can visit Wakako in her apartment after her romance event. The apartment is somewhere inside the Orbital Airspace Center. <laughs> Fucking NASA and Night City. It's somewhere out there. It's her apartment. You get... She literally gives you a card. V, my love, got a quadra for free. <laughs> she just gives you a green quadra. And then, this is the best part. I'm so excited for this content for Cyberpunk. Added Act 4, an entirely new 10-hour long story where you play as old cop Wakako fighting injustice in Night City after the death of her beloved boyfriend. Look at the picture! <laughs> ah, I'm dying! Uh, uh, Vero, USA waived GPU import tariffs last week, so lots of prices on GPUs are dropping 20%. <gasps> That's awesome. Hey, I got 3080 Ti too in my dreams. I'm so sorry. Same Bjorn. Same Bjorn. Six. Hi. This is an April Fool's. This is definitely an April Fool's. But honestly, like now I want it. I want to date Wakako. I want to play as old cop Wakako. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, okay. All right. Anyways, I'm just close out of all this. I don't want you guys to see any anything else on there. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Uh, the sculptor. Where is DCS? We are just about to get to it. So uh, I am going to go ahead. I reinstalled. Right. So I was on DCS World, the regular installation from their website, but now I'm on. A night wolf is continuing to protect the tribe. Oh. At six. What are you doing? This is why Uncle Biden didn't want women to have right. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was the next bullshit thing they said. Thank you. Thank you for banning them. Um, sorry. I thought you just banned him for the first thing. I was like, wow, that's a little harsh. Six coming in here putting the hammer down. But yeah, fuck them. Um, so I reinstalled DCS World on the beta version, right? So it's the same version as the live. It just has the possibility more bugs, but it gets new planes sooner. So I am excited to. Be experiencing that now, which should be about the same. I have heard that there is not a big difference in the stability of the two. Okay, cool. Uh, I forgot I didn't do this last time. Oh, PDX, hello, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Happy Friday, how are you? They don't call me the god of hammers for nothing. <laughs> My justice is swift. My I, I should have trusted you. I should have trusted you. I thought you were rusty. That was my mistake. That was definitely my bad. I am sorry. Uh, so all of that to say, I reinstalled. My key bindings might be not set anymore. So, yeah. I might need to set up my bindings. I meant to do this earlier, but I've been so busy. Um, and I've been watching a ton of videos. We are going to do some... Uh, basic flight maneuvering, so uh, barrel roll, um, hard turns, there's there's several, I'm forgetting, jigging, uh, jinking, jinking is what it's called, uh, and just practicing stuff like that. Hang on, uh, access command, oh, that's for general, I was like, wait, what, 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 let me just see here. Yeah. Pretty sure this has been reset. Okay. 
Um, why is the orb weaver showing up? Go away. I'm just gonna clear your category. Is this a category? Are you sure you want to clear all assignments for the Razor Orb Weaver? Uh, in Access Command? Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't... Okay. Pitch should not be being controlled by the throttle. This is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to set up controls first, and then we're going to do a little bit of flying, and then we're going to try some uh, basic flight maneuvering. <laughs> War Thunder's April Fool's event is entirely Dune themed. Oh, do you have a link, Vero? I want to see that. Have fun, sis. Later. Have a good night, Nick. Tell the family I said hi and love. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry, this is going to be boring. It's going to be setting up controls and stuff. Actually, let me pull this up. Notice. <coughs> Okay, that's DCS. I have all of my controls here, so it should not take too long to set them up. Luckily, this is why I made a cheat sheet. I do want to switch two of them, though. Um, trailer. Does it have any copyrighted music? As long as there's no copyrighted music, we can watch it. Permit. Um, uh, links shouldn't be blocked in here, I don't think. Unless I change that. Otherwise, you can just send it to me on um, Discord. Official trailer, so there's no copyrighted music? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could watch it then. I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can. We'll see how that actually actually pans out. Did this keep... No, this probably didn't keep anything because it's a totally new installation. RIP. That's okay, though. Put a little bit of dead zone. Uh, I think I had this at, like, 25? Yeah, that's good. I want to make it slider? I don't know. I don't need a ton of accuracy. Wait, it's like inverted. It gives me more accuracy at the top, but anything after 90% is afterburner. Um, yeah, I think I do want to be a slider and maybe we'll invert it. Ugh, I am unsure. Or just set the curve opposite. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. There we go. Now my brain is on. Okay, I think I think that's right. I think that is what we actually want. Um, zoom view. I don't know what I actually want this to. I know what it was on. I think I'll... Actually, what did I have it on? Wait, where is it? Ah! I lost it. I don't know where Zoom is. I could put it on my, on my toe pedals. Uh, home world slash deserts of Karak vibes. Where's the link? Uh, usually you do prefer to have more control range over the middle area of the throttle because it's where it would be during most of the flight. That's a good point. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't want a ton of control over the bottom end of the thrust. It would probably be over the middle, right? I know I don't want it at the top end. Afterburner is just go, go full burner. Exactly, exactly. Okay, maybe I do want to adjust that. You write... Thank you. Sorry, I'm new. Okay, I really wish I had set up my controls before. Because I had time to think about this. I just got lazy. Where in the fuck? Oh, I have that as zoom view? Oof. 
Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. We're gonna try to this. Okay. Um Wow, that is intense. That is that is intense. Holy shit. Okay. That should work. Awesome. Uh, let's get the rudder set up. So that is also going to be on the throttle. There we go. And I just put a dead zone. And this is my foot pedals. So I feel like I actually want an even high, like kind of a ridiculously high curve. I think. So I really want more control. I don't want to be like, you know, jabbing it to either side. And they kind of stick in the middle. It's the Thrustmaster ones. They're fine, but they're not the greatest. We'll try 40-ish and we'll see. We'll see if that does kind of what I want it to. Roll. Hear that. I want to make sure I don't have any duplicate binds here. So I'm not accidentally doing shit. <laughs> also, let's see if I can say this right. Uh, Deliverator, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Uh, T16000 that you use, isn't it? Yes. Um, that's the second time is... Do I have a bot that's like blurring stuff? I feel like Twitch might have implemented some new bot filter that's changing things to three stars. I don't know. Um, yeah, I have the T16000M and the, I have the FCS flight package, so it's got the thruster and the pedals. I had another T16000 for space games, but she borked. Uh, roll, okay, where's pitch? There's pitch. Here's that. Beautiful. I do apologize about this, guys. This was very preventable, and I just didn't. I was lazy. Okay. RDR. Where is it? Your cursor switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to use this guy. So the X, X is horizontal. Yes. Should be. And y is vertical. Someone has transferred Republic credits to your account. Whoa. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Andrew. How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Hello, thank you. People with the raw pedals tend to set it up, uh, around 15 to 20 curve. Really? That's a little lower than I was expecting. I've been doing 25 on stuff. Let me, let me set that up in just a sec. Okay, so if I remember right, this needs to be inverted. I'm gonna drop the saturation down to 50% on this because it is the joystick at the front of the thruster. And... It is, I, I don't want it to be crazy sensitive on my, uh, my MFD. However, I don't need to set up a curve for it. And I, I pretty much liked how it controlled. I might have actually set it down to 40. I don't remember. Okay, so you were saying with the rudders, we should actually set this a little lower than 20. We'll try 15. I feel like that might be a bit much. I guess maybe I don't need fine rudder control unless I'm doing World War II airplanes. Right? Because I really just kind of want to jab it anyways. Maybe I was thinking about that backwards. Okay, those are up and down. Oh, uh, Deliverator, I have a question for you. You seem to know what you're talking about. So I have a bind on here, my uncage switch. I don't, I'll pull it up in a second. I don't know if that's specific to the radar for uncaging or if that's a weapons control thing. Okay, hang on. Manual range knob. Uh, do I want to do this as antenna? Let's do, let's do this as manual range. Cool. Um, and then... Last axis is antenna elevation knob. Do 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 do. 
right, we'll set that as that. And that I don't think needs a curve either. It might need a, um... no, it's okay. It's okay where it's at. Okay, so now, uh, let me check my bindings. We have 16. I do use them all by hand and don't even remember what they are. I feel that. I absolutely feel that. Okay, so it's the uncage switch, and I really wish that this gave me more information. Thank you, tooltip. I know I should be reading the manuals. Um, but I had that as something, and I don't think I actually want it there anymore. It depends on what it does. So in the meantime, uh, I'm going to skip that. Let's set up countermeasures. I feel like I don't need all of these. Aft and left. Do, 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 do. Is that left? No, I, I wanna, I'm going to switch to the way I had this. So this will be aft. Forward. Left. Right. And I'm pretty sure I only need... Oh, oops. Here we go. The button's a little sensitive. I think I only need aft and left. Or maybe aft and right. I'm not sure. Uh, expand FOB button to press. Is this for radar? Oh man, I wish I remembered. I'm gonna set that as this for now. That works. Speed brake. Here we go. SPD. Okay, aft extend. Yep, so that's going to be our speed brake. I believe that's the air brake. Uh, forward, retract it. Okay, awesome. Dogfight mode. Ride. Slash center. Okay. Versus missile override center. Right. Okay. Dogfight. Oh, it goes on this one. Dogfight. Missile. There we go. Camera slash gun. First trigger indent or detent. Sorry. I'm going to make that there. That's the laser, but I don't actually know what it does in the F-16. There's so many things I still have to learn. Second is supposed to be my guns, but I've never successfully been able to fire my guns. I can fire missiles. Ooh, woo. Did I set that right? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, weapon release button. See, to me, this sounds like I should be able to fire my guns after this. Unlock control is not paramount. Secondary, uh, but useful for dogfighting. Uh, unlock control. That's not the uncaged switch, is it? Also, sorry, I forget things as they come out of my mouth. Where did I have the weapon release? Oh, I had it right there. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Allow you to switch between locking with the helmet and the radar manually onto the target box to missiles. This is for launching missiles and bombs. Okay, cool. That's that's what I had it as. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so uncage will allow you to switch between locking with the helmet and the radar. Ma oh, okay. So I can actually have the HUD track with my helmet. Gotcha. Did I bind uncage? I don't think I did. Hydrate or dihydrate? Yeah, I probably should actually. Bjorn, thank you for the hydrate. Also, uh, Deliverator, thank you so much for your help. I appreciate that. Or do you prefer D3 Liberator? Weapons release, bombs and missiles trigger. First stage is lays to drop bombs. Ah, okay, that makes sense. And then trigger two is guns. I have never found out. There's probably a switch inside the cockpit that I'm not hitting. Uh, it's probably a toggle. Yeah, I can never get it to fire the guns. Even when I have Master Arms set. 
Uh, Iros, hi gorgeous, just stopping by to say hello, time for me to go sleepies. Hi, how are you? I hope your day was wonderful, and I hope you have good sleepies. Thank you for stopping in. Um, so, is the uncage something I would want to switch between often? First way is better? Okay. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Or is that something I would just kind of switch it on and leave it? Practice makes tired. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> uh, Andrew M. 1024, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Uh, Spiderx, or Spider XX, hello, hello. Uh, trigger second stage is second stage of the same trigger. Uh, mine only has the one. Okay. Just map that one out as the trigger. Yes. Yeah, I have that. Second detent trigger is set to my joy button one. So it's set to my trigger. Um, uncage. If I could type. I had it as that, but I've switched that. Uncage is something uh, tertiary that you'll keep on pressing realistically. You won't use it. Okay. Second detent will fire the guns. Gotcha, gotcha. 3.30 a.m. It's been good decently. Just happy to see your face. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you. Make sure you have fun. I, okay, I'm, I am having fun. I'm binding my keys right now, but I am having fun and I will. Thank you so much. Please have a good sleep, hun. For PGM, you'd use it. PGM? What's that? Uh, forget about, okay, forget about on cage for now. I won't need it. Awesome. Thank you. I don't even know if there's a system for that in the F-16. I guess it is because it's F-16 sim. Okay, moving on, moving on. And weapon release. Auto start. No, they changed the name of that. Okay. Automatic startup procedure. Set that to here. Uh, shut down. Put that to here. I would like to get to the point where I can start the F-16 manually without having to follow the tutorials. Just knowing how to do it. Enable switch to press. Okay, what in the hell does this do? For the life of me, I cannot figure out what enable switch depress does. Position guide munitions. Oh. Okay. Precision guided munitions. Is that um air to ground? Used it myself. For the Mavericks, no GPUs or anything else. Uh BFM equal big fucking monkey. Nailed it. Yes, that's that is correct. There there are so many abbreviations. Um, and acronyms in all of this. I'm doing my best to keep up with it. Setting up seemingly endless keybinds would drive me nuts. Andrew, I, I'm i kind of used to it. I've been bouncing between a couple games using my HOTAS, and on every one of them, I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Gotta set up my binds. So that's all I've done for like the last week. And then I installed the beta version of DCS and didn't realize my binds would not transfer. No need for enable switch to press on HOTAS. Okay, cool. Uh, wheel break. Here we go. Let's just do the left. That way we're constantly Tokyo drifting every time we try and touch down on the strip. That's fine. Just drift it. Uh, okay. Uh, NWS. And the tooltip's going to tell me what... Nope. Nope, it's not going to tell me what that means. ML MSL probably means missile. I got nothing. I got nothing. What's up, Rimper Batman? 
That key, the navel to press, is needed for lining up the HUD to the aircraft. Oh, it has more uses. Interesting. Default is enter. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so if I need it, I'll hit enter if I need to realign the HUD. What did I even have this as? Oh, I had this as this button, because I don't know what the fuck it does. So, bonk. Used to laze the air-to-ground weapons. Toggle the nose wheel steering. Oh, nose wheel steering. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay, cool, yeah. Then I, I... Well, is that where I want that? No, it's probably fine. It's fine for now. I will eventually get this set up. By the time I do my trial for the F-16, we'll be done, though. So, you know, it's kind of whatever. Uh, trim button... Let's go. Left wing down. Right wing down. Uh, nose up. Nose down. Perfect. Grim butt. <laughs> Display. Nope, nope, nope. Display management switches. Last time I had those as that, but I'm going to switch that here. Down. That seemed to work. Uh, left. Ugh. This thing is too sensitive and I don't like it. Right. Up. The down and the left just really... You, you can't grip it the way it wants you to. So they end up getting kind of mixed. Target management switch. Here we go. This is going to be here. Down. Oh. I'm down. Left. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, hang on. <laughs> uh grip. Yeah, the way the way I like grip it. I don't know. I don't know how to how to describe it. Uh you know Battlefield and the combat games spoiled me like if i have to know all this shit to fly a plane then crash into a tank i would just walk <laughs> uh oh i found out you can walk in here yeah so i didn't know how to get out of my aircraft on the runway because i don't think you can so i ejected and um you can just walk around it's cool but you can't set yourself on fire on the thrusters so you know that's kind of a lost opportunity in my opinion nothing much about to play some skyrim in a few minutes awesome batman i hope you have a good time with that TMS and Radar Cursor are the main ones you'll be using for the air-to-ground air air. Yes, and I have that set up on something comfortable as well as being able to move my cursor around on the left MFD on the F-16. Uh, so it should be good there. Um, and then that selects my targets and I can set the dual targets with double up, I believe, and then down to deselect. Okay, cool. I think we're good on that. I think that's every... Oh, I got a transmit switch. Okay, so here's a question. For... Ah, okay, so there's a VoIP-specific one, and then there's a radio menu-specific one. Between VHF and UHF, is one of those typically designated for VoIP? Like, if I were to go into a multiplayer lobby, which I won't until I fully understand the game and flying. Um, do people typically VoIP on VHF? or UHF, or am I just poor misunderstanding? Um, also, thank you guys for your help. I appreciate that. You know nothing of this game. This is basically a one-to-one -one flight sim. Yeah, no, that was the whole sentence. So to start up the aircraft, it is basically just like it is in real life, is my understanding. Same with flying and stuff. Uh, you bind it in SRF. You no, know, won't normally use those binds. People use SRS, yeah. No need to map it here. Oh, cool. Fantastic. That frees up more buttons for me. Thank you all for your help. I appreciate that so much. Hooray. Um, can I save the profile? I cannot save the profile. Okay, that makes me uncomfortable. That's all right. It's probably fine. What was I going to do? Let's go ahead and practice takeoff and landing real quick, and then we're going to get into BFM. We are not going to do start procedures, just taxi takeoff.
uh spider and deliverator thank you guys again for your help i appreciate it i have like a billion questions i've been watching tons of youtube videos uh, mostly from grim reapers uh cap over there makes fantastic tutorial videos i have watched 18 hours of tutorial vids this week i'm doing my best there's like i'm looking at higher level stuff and none of the like what's the button to open the map it's F10. I found that out today. At least I hope that's that's uh, my understanding. I think, um, yeah. There's a lot going on. We're starting a viper. There's our okay. If I remember right, you guys said that was kind of loud last time. Set this down to like 35. Up running, and we'll learn how to taxi the runway and take. I have so much more to watch. Before we taxi out, though, let's set up a few more items. Oh, you don't like Grim Reaper? The cold start lesson. Press spacebar. Uh, let's see. This one, for example, looks good. Man, links aren't working. What is... Hang on, let me pull up Twitch real quick. I'm gonna see if I can get that taken care of. Um, it's probably under the dashboard. Streaming tool. No, 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 no. Settings, moderation. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Uh, block hyperlinks. There we go. Okay. So, I think that saved. Okay, y'all should be able to link stuff now. I'm sorry about that. That was... That was my bad. Master Caution. Uh-oh, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, let's see. Hey, it's Nick. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. Friday. I know what fucking day it is, kind of. Uh, Grim Reaper is good for introduction to sim, but not ideal for learning for long term. Okay, okay. Surrounded by a lot of controversy. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Why are the links still not working? Oh, do you have to refresh, maybe? Uh, is that side tech controller you have? Uh, no? Oh, for face cam, I've got track IR5, if that's what you're talking about, for, for head tracking. Um, okay, there we go. You might just have to refresh before you can link. Digital combat, da 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 da. Oh, F16 profile. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna put this in my Discord. Um, flight Sam, Flight Sam, Flight Sam. Bonk. Okay, cool. My profile, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic. I will have to check that out. Minimize that. I promise we're gonna fly. Worm Thunder. Oh my god, I'm gonna come back to that. Hello, 07. Uh, IFF in case of family and friends. Nani? Wait, what's in case of family and friends? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we should probably have it selected. Altimeter. Verify the current airflow of the altimeter setting. 30.04 inches mercury. Yes. And what is my and new zoom button? Pressure setting oh the god. Wheel, select a new setting if it becomes necessary. We also verify the altitude display on the HUD matches the altitude on the altimeter within plus or minus 75 feet. Oh, and I know Parametric how to move my head. The scale on the I'm right going to scoot side myself line. back just a bit. Press space bar. That is right control shift back. Oh, that goes up and down. Uh I don't know how to do front and back. Okay, never mind. No flying, only driving. Uh, identify friend or foe. Ah, okay. So I have that funny little board. My friend or foe. The keys are as bad as Tarkov. Oh, there's so many more keys than Tarkov, man. So many more. Okay, I'm sorry, what was I supposed to do? 
Yeah, okay, I've been through this like six times. I know that the pressure's all fine. An electric and pneumatic mode. I mostly just want to practice electric the, the flying part. By the central air data computer. The Not pneumatic the start of the procedure and going through all of that. He should read within the plus or minus 75 feet of one another. Set it back to electric mode. No keys, Listen, only what does. The altitude displayed in all sources should match with no significant errors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press space bar. I want to get like a, a cockpit set up, like a sim pit, and get some MFDs and uh, have no money. It'll be just like now, except I'll have MFDs and still no money. Okay, wags, faster. Typically, all light should be on and flashing. I probably should have just gone into a um, conditions are necessary. It's like an empty when mission done, that lets me take off and then land. Time there to we go. Lights. The top three knobs on the interior landing panel control the intensity of the lead reading of the panels themselves. Well, that's right. That's what I was going to do. Just controls. Can you guys hear me okay over the game, by the way? Uh, search. Zoom. Is that not what it's called? Oh, it's an axi. Okay. Duh. I am dumb and silly. Zoom view. Tune. We need to invert this. There we go. Two console and instrument dials control flood light. Perfect. Okay, cool. Instrument panel. The malfunction indicator light switch since the intensity of the good enough. You may also enable the flashlight at any time. <laughs> using the can you hear me okay, Nan? Just like, I can hear just fine. Experiment with these and press space bar and ready to move on. It's hard to hear when the engine's roaring. That's fair. Next, we'll verify the EGI. I'm sure the engine will stop at some point. This is probably when I die. The alignment's alignment is complete and we're ready to taxi the uh. aircraft. You should already be set on this mission. Press space bar to continue. I'm definitely going to have to change some of these, but that's all right. Now we're ready to get moving. Can you log in staff? Air refueling disconnect button on your stick, or press the S key. This one needs to be no steering. Let's see. This should be no wheel steering. Haha! I know what it is on the hotest now. Thank you for your help, guys. Air refueling light right at the hood. Oh, that was the music. I thought someone knocked on my door. Press space bar to continue. Get rolling and slowly increase the throttle just past idle. Just past idle. And then we're going to immediately test our brakes. Well, cool. gently test the brakes and lose what's steered immediately after your aircraft begins to move forward. Press Z to steer left and X to steer right. Taxi forward and turn right on the taxiway. Okay, now we're on our way. Interesting. Max taxi speed is My pedals feel different with the changes to the sure rudder. Slow down about 10 knots for turns. Keep the build up quickly the brakes are in the from steering period. So, so question. It said my maximum speed on the, uh, when I'm taxiing is 30 knots, right? Except that that's supposed to be my speed right there. Well, I don't see it reflected up here. Is it because I'm going too slow? I also don't know if there's a gauge for it. You'd think there'd be a gauge for it. No airspeed until you're over 6 knots. Okay, that makes sense. So do I just guess, or is there an actual, like, physical gauge? Also, 104th, hello, thank you so much for the information. Uh, let's see. Cor Corvette, sir? Corvette ZR11. Oh, hey, what's up? F-16 time, looking forward to getting it when we finish learning the SU-25T. Nice, nice. I grew up around F-16s, so I just kind of gravitated towards this, so I was like, yeah, you know, I feel comfortable being near this jet, so that's probably a good place to start. Um, ultimately, my love is the F-14, because of course it is. F-18 looks fucking sick. A series of last minute checks need to be made just prior to All right, we're going to check the fuel. Oh, right, I don't actually have to lean forward. Keep the aircraft clear. If I remember right, we're going to check external wing. the taxiway as we are now. External wing looks good. That one looks good. And then we'll bring it back to norm. Okay, it's going to have me do all that again, but I'm First, just... set the probe heat switch tension. to probe heat. It should be um, done in two minutes prior to takeoff. With ice already set. Instances. Fantastic. The least selection of probe and, as long as possible prior to takeoff. With uh, ice is not expected oh. To prevent overheat and damage okay. to probe components. We don't actually have... Like GPS. Next, verify the alt flap switch is set to normal. 
Then, it is such a norm. With the male trim panel, check the needles on the trim indicators are centered. This is the final verification. Da -da -da. The trim settings are correct for takeoff. Trim looks oh. Invert oh. changed. Center them if you need to using the trim, trim looks good. Trim Head tracking was not happy for a second. Press space bar to continue. Uh, fair. I got the FC3 pack due to being easier planes to work with. Oh, that's fair. Are those the non full modeled ones? Uh, just go slow enough to be able to maneuver it. Sounds good. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't drag the, uh, the Fox 3s on the ground as I'm turning. Let's see. Still not sure what kind of play I want. Like, air to air versus CAS and stuff. I want to do dog fighting. That sounds really fun. Uh, metal under tension and waiting uh, for you to touch and go. Control Y shows bottom it though. What? Control Y. Whoa! <gasps> Thank you! Oh, okay. Haha! -ha. Okay, this game doesn't even tell you the basic stuff. Like, this should be map, right? <gasps> I know how to access Another the map. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. It wasn't... I I didn't know how to access it, and so I was like, M, control M, shift M, right control M, right shift M, alt control shift M, please. It's not It's not any of those. It's F10. Oh, I don't know how to exit it, though. That's... Escape? Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. F10? Oh, no. F1. Ah! <laughs> it's not bad enough. That I have to know how to fly the plane. I have to know how to fly DCS. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. I got you, fam. Thank you. I appreciate it. To chat on a server, shift tab or control tab. Well, that okay. It's not running through Steam. That's a first. That doesn't do anything here. That doesn't do anything. I'm not on a server, so that's probably why. Not being clickable ones. Gotcha. Gotcha. The Goose Smasher, I mean Canopy Jettison. Wow, that's rude. Also, that reminds me. Thank you. Should probably lock that. What was I supposed to do? Okay, we're fine. Now, verify the engine control switch is set to pry and the guard is down. Verify uh, the speed brakes are closed. I'm, I'm going to need to switch that. Locked. Yeah, that looks good. The yellow handle should be down and the canopy warning light on the right eyebrow should be off. Okay, right the eyebrow is over here, right? So I would have a canopy light on this. I believe. Or maybe it's this. Maybe maybe that's the eyebrow. F keys are your views. F key. Oh, function keys. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> Wait, so what's F2 do? Oh! Oh, and now I can tell he's gonna get mad at me and I don't care. You know what? We'll do it in the air. We'll do it in the air. I need to know where on my Thrustmaster actually hits Afterburner. Uh-oh. Oh, no. F1? Ha-ha! Ha-ha! I'm learning! Ah, man. Learning curve is rough? Yes. Glad you have people here to- I'm so glad there are people here helping me. This is- this is what I was wanting. Because I've been in this game for, like, a week. I haven't flown as much as I've watched YouTube videos on how to fly. Twitch chat flies a jet fly! F3 is cinematic view, so you can hear sonic boom makes- <gasps> Okay, I like it. You can hit right, control, and enter to bring up input. Oh. Yes, awesome, thank you. That's another thing I was wondering about. Okay, so here I should be able, yes, I can see my trim as well. Thank you. I was hating having to, though this does ruin my immersion a little bit, but looking back there to see how my trim's doing, why is, why is it being like this? Why is my head tracking only only pissy when I'm streaming? I literally had this sorted out. Unbelievable. Streamer flies the plane. Okay, so enter is supposed to center my HUD. So I think we're good there. Uh, that red line is your AB. Oh! That's the afterburner, thank you! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I bring it past that red... You guys, you guys are lifesavers. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Holy shit. How much of the manual did you read? I have not read any of the manual. 
If you're talking about manual for the F-16, I never got one because I'm doing the trial F-16. I don't think I got a manual with that, or I did and I didn't read that I got a manual with that. I just been watching vids. Do you want to see anyone else's craft? Uh, click on them in the F-10 map and hit F-2. Okay, okay. Wags is a good trainer. Yes, yes he is. And we should probably, actually, I need to listen to him. What's he want me to do now? Set the store's configuration switch is required. In general, oh yeah, we have set this cat three. Loadouts without external wing tanks. Okay. So I'm gonna have to switch that zoom. Around loadouts or any loadouts with external wing tanks. We're doing this five the years. Feel free to ask questions. Loaded, so set Thank you. I appreciate it. Space bar to continue. Guys, um, I know you're all probably in like 50 million discords, but if you want to be in one more discord, feel free to join mine, which is down in the Twitch panels in the about section. I also have Instagram and Twitter and and all that good stuff. Um. So, yes, please feel free to join. This is not me trying to rope you into helping me with DCS. Please help me with DCS. Uh, like, if you go on the Steam folder and stuff. I don't actually have this on Steam. I have it through the basic, um, or through, through the, the base website. Okay, but it should be inside a folder. Okay, I'll have to check that out then. I bet it was downloaded with that. All right, we're good. We'll hit space. Next, we'll verify the external fuel tanks are feeding. Yep, already did this. Set the fuel pump to external wing Whoop. and check the quantity. Wing external tanks should feed first and have lower quantity than the engine start, somewhere just below 2,400 pounds. Yep, that's where if we're at. If the centerline external tank were installed, it would feed first, and we have to check its quantity instead. Press space bar to continue. Set the fuel quantity to select knob to internal wing and check the quantity. Already internal did. Internal wing tanks are fed from externals and should be full, or about 550 pounds. I was killing a boss. Did I hear something about rope? <laughs> you did, but now, it's probably not being used for what you want it to. to normal. This allows your automatic forward fuel transfer system, trap fuel warning, and bingo fuel warning. Bad chance to watch that video? Off. Not yet. I'm going to do it after part. I um, take off and then watch it in and then I'll land. Stow the target epod at the stall by selecting the target epod control page on the MFD. It has no targeting epod. This is done prior to takeoff and before landing to prevent foreign objects. Okay, I think I'm caught up with chats. Press spacebar to continue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Then, lower with the ejection seat. Already the done. This arm's ejection seat. Go, 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 go. This is delayed as long as possible to prevent inadvertent ejection on the ground. Through other well, guys, how many times have you really gone through the full startup like this one? Can you remember? I, okay, I'm definitely going to do it in the F-14, but I would like to get to a point where I can just sit in the cockpit and start it up like it's my car, right? I would like that. Speaking of my car, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know, I drive a 71 Torino GT. That is my daily driver. I do all my own work on it. It is my baby. I've done custom wiring on it. Not to say it's good. It's just custom. I have a um, tachometer in there from a 94 Ford Ranger because that was the last year that they did cable-driven speedometers. And I wanted something a little better than... It literally had like a horizontal speedometer in, uh, in the OG tachometer. And it, I can't. I can't. I don't like it. Ugh. It was also yellow and like sun stained. It was gross. So I'm driving today. I'm going to the recycling center. I drop off my cardboard. I leave. As I'm leaving, the town I live in is a shithole and I hate it here. Uh, I hit a pothole that I couldn't see. And um, when I say pothole, this thing would make the Grand Canyon have like depth envy. It just, it was deep. It was real deep, let's just say that. Uh, so much so that it knocked the speedometer cable loose and now my speedometer doesn't work. I don't know if it's loose from the back of the tack. I feel like no, because it shouldn't be because there's clips on there. Like it is a pain in the ass to get that cable off the back of the tack. So, it's probably just hanging under the car. It's probably just... <sighs> My tack was working when I went to the recycle center. I hit the Grand Canyon. It no longer works. Oh, I'm sorry, my speedometer, not my tack. I am so angry. I am so angry. I have to go under there and fix it. Uh, when she gets to know the fast startup, uh, which is done in 
be, her mind will be blown. Oh, I know there's a button for it, but that feels like cheating for manual steam. Oh, awesome. Uh, Falcon, did I say that right? Falcon 71. Thank you so much. Can uh, one of my mods please copy that link and put it in Discord for me? Oh gosh, talking about eraser again. Look, it's not it's not eraser, okay? It's just it's my hunk of junker and it barely gets the job done. But now it doesn't have a speedometer, so you know that's fine. I thought the potholes here in Brazil were bad. I'm so mad. I'm so angry. Finally a flying girl. What's up? Is it chemo or H emo? I was emo in high school. I still kind of am. I'm sure that's not what your name stands for. I'm sorry, I'm just talking because I'm nervous. Got my wheel crashing into a pothole the size of the Grand Canyon. Man, I'm so sorry, what the fuck? Yes, engine pressure, or the oil pressure is... What am I doing? It's where it should be. Let's go. At this point, we're ready to take the roadway. Go ahead and taxi out on the Sweet. left to line up on the center line. Come to a stop. Okay, so this should show my knots down there. Oh, I'm going baby slow. I'm going baby slow on the on the tarmac. Uh, I don't know what part is the tarmac actually. That's that's the airstrip. Am I on the tarmac right now? Is that the parking spot for planes? I just know the words. I don't know their meaning. This is fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Hemo. Okay. How's it going, Hemo? I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. I know you're not emo anymore. Hey. We all had that phase, but okay, we're all past that for the most part. You're lined up at the runway and hold the brakes. All right. Verify the parking brake is disengaged. Yep. And the anti-skid switch is set to anti-skid. It sure looks so like it, but it might be set to off. Blowing your tires, if you need to avoid nope, it was on anti-skid. And come to a stop quickly. Press spacebar to continue. Okay. This is going to go quickly, so I'll describe the entire sequence, then we'll run through. Uh, the 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 okay, so if I remember right, I bring the throttle to 90% just below afterburners. Um, while holding the brake, I check the gauges to make sure that everything reads like it should. I don't remember what those numbers are, and I'm not actually going to care this time. Uh, I let go of brake, set it to afterburner full thrust uh, at 70 knots. I turn nose wheel steering off because the rudders will be working now. Um, and I pull back on the stick at 170 knots, uh, and then I put up the landing gear. It's probably good. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. We'll find out if we crash and burn. Uh, Falcon, thank you so much for the follow, Corvette. Thank you for the follow. And hey, it's Nick. I think I already got you. Thank you for the follow as well. All right, let's do this. Um, so we'll set this to 90. All right, spooled up. And let's go. Set it to afterburner. Oh, oh, I have my, I have my rudders inverted because I'm stupid. Almost to the takeoff. This is terrible. Yep, that's just the worst. I've never actually crashed on takeoff. That is a first. It's just because you're all here watching. I am so nervous. What is that? Control R. Control R is not restarting the mission. <laughs> this is fine. So for um, a couple weeks in space games, I was flying with my rudders inverted, and I still uh, fall back on that. I, I still accidentally try to go one direction when I don't mean to. Is there an instant action where I'm just on the ground? Oh. <laughs> it was dirt rally for a minute there. Uh, 150 to 200 knots, it will lift. Oh, OK. Oh no, please don't. Please don't. Okay, is there a mission where I just start off on the ground? This is so pretty. I love it. I don't want to sit through all that again, but I want to take off. Go for it way faster and easier. Instant action, take off. Ah, sweet, 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 sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Just do the clip with the Tokyo Drift song. Oh, man. I promise that is the first time I've ever fucked up a takeoff. Oh, the second time. The first time I ever landed the F-16, though, um, I forgot to uh, put the nose up or down. I still don't know which one it was. 
because uh, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. And uh, it came to a rolling stop eventually near the parking lot, which was perfect. I didn't hit anything, right? It's just my brakes were not doing great because I wasn't applying pressure properly. And the F-16 stops right next to the parking lot. I'm looking over. It, it's probably my car. I'm just like, this is perfect. I'll just hop out and never return to work because of this. I don't have this job anymore. Okay. This um, mission starts with your aircraft on the runway, ready for takeoff. Oh, beautiful. Route, Here we go. Exploded. Let's try this again. No uh, was it right control enter? Yes. Yes, I remembered. Okay. Anything else I need to set up? I don't think so. So let's do this. 90. Everything looks good. We'll set it to 100. Nose wheel string was not on, but that's okay. Um, 70 knots, nose wheel string is off. We'll just keep her aligned just a little bit. That's looking good. Beautiful. And we'll start to pull back just a bit. Why is it not? Okay, I gotta pull back a little more than that. I thought it would take off on its own, but no. That's great. Let's put the landing gear up. And we can pull it out of afterburner, because, you know, 11 liters a second. Something like that. And I want to see what this looks like. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, so it feels right about here. I am just below afterburner here. I might put like a, like a little sticky tab there or something so I know. That afterburner is just that last little short spot. Okay, fantastic. How quickly can I roll in this? Ooh, pretty quick. Side to side. Awesome. Okay. And now... So here's a question for everyone. Uh, we've all been there. Take it easy. Ground. Alt F4 and F3 looks the coolest. Does Alt F4 do something different in here than in any other program in Windows? Uh, faster, faster. You're in the air. Now press F3 and enjoy the moment. The afterburner, you'll hear it click. Ah, okay. Don't Alt F4. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. All right, so ah, I do hear the click. You're right. Ah, thank you, thank you. All right, F three. That's so cool. That is so cool. I dig it. It doesn't close the game. I don't believe you, emo. All the board, trust me. If this closes my game, it does. Okay, all right. Oh, it doesn't. Go supersonic and do F3 again. How do I go supersonic? I'm full afterburner. I know that's probably a dumb question, but I, I genuinely, I don't know. See the throttle, left side of the cockpit. Anything above 1.0. Bottom left of HUD is your mock. Where is it described? I see my knots. Six four. Right below airspeed, left side. Oh, six four on the nav. I was looking in the bottom left. I'm so sorry. You're talking HUD, and I was thinking game HUD, not not actual like plane HUD. That's okay. My bad. Ah, so I'm 0.53, it's right above the... Okay, I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. Um... Alright, let's try and do this. 
I'm gonna get a little angle on it, so. I'm hoping I hit it before I hit the clouds. All right, here we go. Did I hit it? Oh! <laughs> Okay, so, general question. What's a good altitude to go for Mach? Um, I know at a certain point you get high enough in the in the air that, um... Another okay. warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. It's hard for the engines to get enough air through them. Um, but also, as you lower the air pressure increases, you get more drag, more resistance. Higher the better. Okay, so is there, like, not really an upper limit? Okay, sweet. Uh, War Room TV, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. How's my fuel doing? Oh, we have we have tons of fuel. Let's go. Okay. So we'll just climb for a bit, try to not stall. I think our angle's fine. I'm gonna adjust the trim a bit here. Around 50,000 is probably the max you'd ever want to go. It's a balance between speed and altitude. Keep Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian. Gotcha, okay. I'll just adjust that, that trim pretty far down. Uh, Briscoe, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. All right, we're, we're at about 24, 23 and a half right now. He's Toby Eye Tracker, how's your head view charting? Oh, I am using a um, Track IR5. It's on the side of my uh, headphones. I really like it. I like it a lot. I have VR. I have an Oculus Rift, and um, which thank you, Silver, for the Oculus Rift. I still use it a good bit. Um, but I like this. This allows me to see chat. This keeps the thing off my face. I like it. Lower indicator airspeed, less thrust your engine makes. The lower your indicated airspeed. Hang on. The less thrust the end of things. Okay, so you're just talking like in a climb, even if I, I've got, you know, I've got it to max, my airspeed is literally how fast I'm actually going, regardless of my RPMs, right? Is that what you're meaning with that? Or am I misunderstanding something? I haven't added it to my specs yet. Thank you for reminding me. I'm so sorry. Uh, Mach number changes with altitude, the temperature and density of air decreases with altitude, so... Uh -huh. There's so many things I'm learning right now! Okay, let's do this. We're at, uh, 0.68. Reset the trim here. Having 10k, you'll pay more attention to the mock than not. Oh, okay. Indicated air speed is what your jet feels. Not indicative of ground speed. Ah, okay. 235 knots are going makes less power than at 350. You can be mocked too and have an indicated air speed of 400 knots, for example. So, knots is almost more like a like a horsepower um, curve, right? Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Mach. I want to do that again, that was super fun. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Emo, thank you for the follow, and thank you for the help and advice, I appreciate it. I feel like we're definitely getting there quicker up here. All right, I'm gonna switch this at like 
I don't know, 97. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down a bit. I wanna hear it in the cockpit. I'm so easily distracted. All right, here we go. Sorry. Did I not slow down enough? I probably didn't slow down enough. I'm doing... doing over. You can't hear it in the cockpit at all? Is that a DCS thing or is that an actual, like, science thing? I can't think of a reason you wouldn't hear it in the cockpit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait, that's real! Actual science thing. It travels with you. Oh... Uh... Y'all galaxy brain. You you guys have to be galaxy brain to play this game. That makes so much sense. I didn't even think about that. Holy shit. You're out running sound. So the jet passes before. That's so cool. You're an aerospace engineer. Okay, then yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Holy shit. Ooh, breaking sound barrier. Sad Kenny Loggins noises. <laughs> Already behind the sound wave. Yep, yep, yep. You're going faster than so it can't catch up. That makes sense now. I thought I remember hearing a story though about when they were first starting to break the speed of sound, people hearing the boom and not knowing what it was. And I guess that was just people on the ground, right? I don't I don't know. I feel like I heard something about that forever ago. I used to be big into uh jets when I was when I was a little kid. My grandpa um is a Marine, is no longer with us. Um, but he worked at an Air Force base for a long time. I don't actually know what he did there. Um, but yeah, I was super into, like, uh, World War II planes and jets and stuff when I was little. I wanted to go into the Air Force for a long time, but I just, I didn't. And now I'm too old, so... So we play DCS. <laughs> so they have two view from the front of your aircraft. You don't hear anything. That's... The level of depth and detail in this game. The more I find out about this game, the more I'm just like, holy shit. So much love, care, and attention to actual science and detail goes into this. God damn. Yeah, my favorite World War II plane was the uh, P-38 Lightning. Um, for dumb reasons, but but I loved it. Semski, hello. Actual sciencing, thank you. Yay. I hope everyone's having a good Friday. I'm having a fantastic Friday now. Another warrior great. has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Sebski, thank you so much for the follow. P38, we can be friends. Yes. Yes, I made a friend. I made a friend. Okay, so... You know, now that we're up here, how's our fuel? Yeah, we're still, we're still doing pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this video. And... I wanna practice some of these. Um, I should have. I was supposed to take notes. I've been watching so many videos, and I'm like, I'll take notes, and then I just fucking don't, because I'm the worst. This would be under my DCS world list. EFM. Hello. I'm okay. So, let's see what we have here. So, we have horizontal scissors. I'm gonna practice first. I don't have a partner for that, but that's okay. I don't think I'm ready ready for partners yet. Um, oh, here's a fantastic question now that you're all here. So in space games, fastest way to turn, um, and in a lot of games, um, fastest way to turn, 
is to basically go into the turn, reduce your thrust, and then turn, because it gives you a, a smaller turn point. I can't science words. Um, does that function the same here, or is it better to keep it more towards the mid and just pull through and eat the Gs, or should you just thrust as hard as possible and eat the Gs? Um, I would imagine it's like kind of mid and then thrust when you're coming through it, when you're on the other side of the the actual curve. I'll be ready to be your partners. Yay! Have you tried landing yet? Yes, I have had, I want to say, five successful landings out of six attempts. If you're turning hard, you want all the thrust. Okay. You don't have a partner for scissors? Uh, you know, I mean, I, I do, but thank you for asking. <laughs> Pixie, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Uh, your plane will build up angle of attack, including drag, and make you slow. That makes sense, because as I'm exposing more of it to the direction I'm going... Can't just pull the stick into your gut either. Jet will dump all the airspeed, even in full afterburn. Okay, so really no thrust adjustment. Uh -huh. Pixie, I like it. I like it. Six is just catching on. You got Food Angel, though. Yeah, that's, that's my scissors partner. If you don't black out first. Uh, step on the ball when you're turning so you don't slip. Just step on the ball when you're turning so you don't slip. You're going to have to explain that one to me. G-Lock is modeled so you will black out with the G. Uh, load, just back off. Right, right. Yeah, luckily Space Games, Space Games did a good job of teaching me how to um, counteract blackout and red out. Smooth is fast. Smooth. Okay, so similar to racing. F16 does that automatically. Don't worry about the ball. Okay. Um, so question around that. Afterburner. When I'm going through the turn, do I leave it at 90 or should I be doing afterburner? When in maneuvering is the time for afterburner? Because if I just leave it on full afterburner, I mean, I'm happy to do that. But much like in my Torino, if I just put the the, the pedal all the way down, uh, I'm going to hit every gas station wherever I'm going, which I already do, because every every light is an opportunity to drag. Really complicated answer when it comes to dogfighting. Okay, how about just in maneuvering? If I want to do um, a hard turn, would I just do it at high thrust? And then if I want to do a harder turn, I would afterburn? Don't use it at all. Up to you. Hard turn, full afterburner. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to try some of the scissor maneuver. I'm just going to leave it at 90 right now. Right? But I'll pretend that I've got someone on, on me here. They're coming up behind. And so I'm going to try and lose them. And then I'll roll into that. And then we're kind of Oops, overshot it, overshot it. This is why we're practicing, this is why we're practicing. Okay, I'm starting to lose altitude here. Ooh, she's getting harder to handle in this. Okay, I started playing rudder a bit. Oh yeah, she's getting real hard to handle. Okay, so there seems to be, I'm having a lot of bleed off of, of energy in doing that. Am I doing it wrong then? Hear the wind rush, the vape clouds forming, it means you're bleeding airspeed, gotcha, okay. So, the motion, as I'm doing that, the motion that's bleeding the most airspeed is not the rotation, it's not my role here, right? It is my um pitch it is the constant pitch maneuver right because that's exposing more of the bottom of the plane to effectively the direction i'm going because i'm, I'm not actually going that straight direction yet i'm still kind of pulling to it Altitude. Altitude. we gotta pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. 
Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Buzz all the gas. Let's go. I haven't normally changed direction that often. Okay, so I would have a wider arc on my scissors. Pitch builds what we call alpha, angle of attack. Turns the bottom of the jet into an air brake. Right, and that, ma that makes sense to me. Evening, evening, Grey Wolf. How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Holy shit, I wasn't looking Friday. How are you? Did I ever put my gear up? Okay, yes, I did. I was responsible. I was pretty sure. I'm like, there's no way I was doing mock with my gear down. Uh, let's see. Where the ground is really close. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my trim a bit here. Okay, so for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna bring this over real quick. Uh, we'll switch to display capture. Game capture. All right, so this is effectively what I'm trying to mimic. This is the scissors motion, right? Uh, so blue is on defense here and red is on attack, and this is um, from Grim Reapers. Uh, I'll put a link to the vid after this. Um, but effectively, they come up behind me, and to try and evade them, um, I end up rolling to the right and and turning and then i roll back and turn and roll back and turn and they kind of do the same and we end up um kind of just out of sync of each other opportunity to um attack as you go by and the point of this is to try and bleed off speed and get the other guy to go faster that way they're in front of you if you're being chased the first thing you'd probably do is jettison Jettison fuel, right? The extra fuel tanks on the bottom. How close can you get to the ground before the wings get torn off? I believe it is the ground at that point. Try pulling a valley that will give you some practice. Oh, that's a good idea, not me. Thank you. Grey Wolf is legit. The legit voice of Jester in the F-14. Oh no way! Okay, I don't I don't have the F-14 yet. But I, I heard um, I heard your voice lines. I was watching a video. I, I've watched a lot of videos on the F-14. But yeah, I was hearing the, the Rio. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. They have an in-game Rio. That's fantastic. Holy shit. Hi. How's it going? I feel honored. How's the Viper treating you? I am new to DCS. I grew up around F-16s. I have never served. I'm a civvy through and through. But um, I love I love jets. I am loving the F-16. I have nothing to compare it to because it's my first plane. Um, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard she's a zippy girl, like this thing hauls. Um, but I've been ha I've been having fun with it. Tied by news. Another Hi, warrior Corrin. has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Corin, you were drifting and speeding home and you got tagged. I'm so sorry. Uh, Pontiac 91. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. That's awesome. Massive fan of the Viper. Can't get enough of it after all the updates. It's one of those things where I, I'm on the trial um, version of the Viper because I wanted to try that first. So I've got 14 days. I think I'm down to like seven now. I'm going to be like, okay, that was a cool experience. And then I'm going to fly something else and be like, oh, the Viper was so nice. I miss the Viper now. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Loki might have roasted you in the YouTube channel, the Discord. Oops, uh, that's okay. All right, so I need to have wider arc on this, but effectively, that was what I wanted to do anyways. I wanted to bleed off energy to get them to pass me. That is the whole point of that maneuver. <clears throat> Wait, see, other people called the Viper. It is called the Viper now. It was originally the Fighting Falcon. I don't know if the F-16C was the Fighting Falcon um, or if it was just the... Uh, you know what? There we go. Or if it was a, a different variant, like an A or B. I don't even know if that's a thing. Leaving a lurk sounds good, Corin. This way it's just mash the rudder and aim for on roll. It's officially the Falcon, but real people call it the Viper. Okay. Is it because of Battlestar Galactica? I, my friend Six here says it's because of BSG, and I'm just like, no way. That would be cool as shit, but there's... I mean... Type a more badass name, I guess. 
manufacturer called it the Fighting Falcon, nickname, yeah, Viper. Which, no spoilers, I'm almost done with BSG Season 2. No spoilers. Okay, so I'm going to practice that one more time. Okay, so... Let me even out my trim here. Here we go. In this very made-up scenario, I've got someone coming up on my tail here. I'm going to try and lose them. So... I'm gonna roll this way, roll that way, I'm definitely losing speed, definitely losing airspeed, so it's getting harder to do. The only scissors isn't turned back and forth, it's rolling 360 degrees, with some pitch put in. Interesting, okay. for the win. It is. It is named after the Viper Starship. That's so cool. Okay, six. I'm sorry. I didn't believe you. Checkmate. Yep, that's fantastic. Depends on who's on your tail. That's true. I'm asking less of a higher level question and more of just a, a bare basics. Like, when I get someone on my tail, I kind of want to know what to do. Um... Okay, defensive jinking. Do I remember what that is? We could try... Okay, let's try a barrel roll. So if I remember right, I'm going to pull back and roll. I think I put rudder into this, and basically I'll end up doing a clover leaf and going that way. So, let's see. It's coming up behind me. I guess I would rudder that direction, because you want to do it as quick as possible. I feel like that was probably too slow. So it might not be done correctly. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Tim, hello, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Great Wolf, thank you for the follow. Tim, hello. Uh, Spockin's F16C, BLK5052. I don't know what the last part means. It's about how you would do rolling scissors, interesting. Rapid quick movements, make the guy behind you. Oh, okay, so it would be kind of stuff like that. So this, I was kind of more doing like slow jinking then, is that right? So just. Just get your nose at the enemy for gun solution. Have someone to fight against. Roll, pull, pull some more, roll the other way, so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, defensive high yo yo. Let's see if I remember this right. According to the picture. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get like a, a sparring partner, <laughs> more or less, at some point. Wobbly, wobbly, so they don't get the shoddy. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you for the technical, Rita. <laughs> Straight up. How about two? Try lawn dart and pancake. Oh, God. So, interestingly, I found out today that the F-18 can do what's called a pirouette. Do I have an example? Bro, why don't I have... Okay, hang on. I do... Oh, it's all the way over there, though. I don't know if I can reach it. Shit. Let's see if I can reach this. <laughs> Yay! Super long wires. Perfect. Okay. We're going to do a very technical demonstration of my understanding of something that I don't understand. This is fine. Okay. So, pretend this is an F-18C, right? Great. Maybe it's not the C. It's not the Super Hornet, I know that. So, 
essentially what you do oh god do i remember this right you basically go up reduce your air speed i forget how you come down but effectively what it allows you to do is to more or less be in an angled kind of flat spin but you're fully in control so you're slightly angled down i don't know if the camera's showing that properly but you can kind of do this to get on target easier it's almost it's almost like doing an air j turn right you got someone behind you and then you can kind of like pirouette onto them almost um i don't fully understand it like a falling leaf that's a great way to explain it it looked so cool it looked so cool um yeah, there was Eagle Dynamics did a, a short video on it on YouTube, and it just, it looked so cool. But apparently the Super Hornet can't do it unless it's in a special mode. Um, there's a toggle somewhere in the cockpit that allows you to essentially set it to that. And I don't understand the science of any of it, but it just, it looked really cool. And I'm like, oh man, that's fantastic. Also, this is why I got into airplanes. I don't know if any of you recognize this, but this is the Sea Duck from Tailspin. Because that was my favorite show as a kid. Uh, and I'm sorry if I'm struggling to keep up with chat. I'm doing my best. I'm kind of a slow reader. The Block 5052 are two different power plants. Okay, and are those in the... The F-16? So, when you are talking about power plants, are you talking about the jet in the plane, right? The main engine, I assume? Too soon, bro. Also, if you can put it into car terms, I'll get it. I, I daily a 71 Torino GT, I work on my car, I'll get it. BRB, doggo, aggro, Oh, what kind of dog? A throttle that has dual thrust control yes yes i do especially if i'm going to do anything with an f16 or uh, f14 which is the goal okay side note i i know i'm spending most of my time talking i'm just i'm so excited to, to chat with people about this stuff um very kind of unrelated i'm really hyped for the new top gun and as i'm watching the trailers for it i'm like man this CG doesn't look like CG. And it looks like Tom Cruise is actually being exposed to like, you know, six G's of force. Like how'd they do that with his face? They actually did it. I did not realize that. I, I don't know if I can show it, but let me at least link it. So Paramount put out a, a thing the other day. They did practical effects for the new Top Gun as much as possible. Like, like actually flying the F-18s and actually exposing all of the actors to those levels of G, and it just... Oh, man. Oh, man, it was so cool. But it's in my history. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so I, I don't know if I can show this on here. Top Gun is BS, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of inaccuracies. I don't know all of them, but I just... I, I know they're there. Um, it, I'm hoping that for this one, they go for a little more realism, but at the very least, they did practical effects with the, with the jets, and I'm so about that. So cool. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Not me! Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Okay, so... Defensive High Yo-Yo. Who does this? The aggressor. Condition the aggressor is approaching the defender from the rear or side with high closure. Uh, action aggressor pulls up hard over the defender, inverts, and dives back down to the defender. Uh, this allows the aggressor to rapidly slow his forward uh, motion. Okay, I understood it better in the turn. As far as actually like doing it while moving, I'm not fully getting it. Oh, I do want to practice that. Okay, so... There we go. So I'm going to do a hard turn. So I've got this guy coming up behind me. I'm doing my best to just, you know, 
Keep him off my ass. Keep him in a uh, lag. Oh, that looks cool. And if I'm the aggressor and I'm about to overshoot, I'm going to make that same turn, but I'm going to do it going up. I'm essentially going to going to go up and do it at the same time to bleed off speed. That way I don't overshoot that. Right? Yeah, that should be my understanding of it. Because effectively you've got the one guy turning and in order to keep from overshooting, you need to put that energy somewhere else. So if you put it vertically um, instead of laterally, that energy still is there and it gets burned off and that keeps your speed or your your movement behind. I can't words. I just, I think I understand it. <laughs> uh, Iron Eagle was more realistic movie and Firebirds. You were the most realistic. I need to check that out. I wanted to, to watch Iron Eagle, um, but Prime wanted to charge me to, to rent it and that was the only place I could find it, so... I need to actually watch it. I was also responsible for a lot of neighbor recruitment that year. <laughs> that is correct. Um, what are we playing? Campaign? I am just learning the basics of flying. I am, I am brand new. Uh, what's up, Kiss Chicken? What? I have too many wires. One maneuver I see sometimes is I go up a mountain, go over the peak, uh, doing that flip over pull back on the stick and shoot down the other side of the mountain yes iron eagle is a great comedy i've seen clips it looks i don't want to upset anyone so i'm not going to say it longer path and fighting gravity will deplete more energy exactly okay cool um i really should have taken notes i feel so bad everyone is like here and ready to help and I'm just like I don't even know what I need help with yet because I don't know how bad I am at everything. Um not seeing any mountains nearby really. Okay, let's see if we can find a valley. Let's see if we can find a valley. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Because I want to I wanna do some of that. I'm just trying to fly through it. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. You seem to be a natural. I appreciate that. I don't know what you're basing that information on, but I appreciate it. Uh, Tim, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. And uh, Ricolo? Ricolo, thank you so much for the follow. I see it in some YouTube vids when someone is trying to fly defensively and stealthy. So there is... My understanding is that there is a radar range vertically and there is a um like a ceiling and a floor for that so down here let's see let me switch this I'm trying to remember set that to 80 that's on b4 that's fine there's a way that I can kind of tell how high up and how high or and how low the radar is actually looking. And so if you're down in these valleys and stuff, you can be off of radar, is my understanding, because you're literally below their radar. BRB pickleback. What the fuck is a pickleback? Is that like Nickelback, but they just have more sour notes? I'm sorry, y'all Y'all can leave. That's fine. You don't have to stay. Two numbers next to the carrot. 99, 99. Okay, I guess why is my radar doing 99 up and 99 down? Or is it showing negative 99 right now? I probably don't have it set up right. Putting your radar at the floor right now. Oh, you're right. There we go. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Yep, I forgot that one. That makes sense now. That that makes more sense. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you can see that it only goes down to 62 now. And I can adjust that. Okay. So let's try and fly in this valley. 
Amber Hyder, hello. This is the way. This is the way. What's up? How are you doing? Thank you for that cute emote. <coughs> Heard of a chaser drink of pickle, Brian, called Pickleback. Ew. Ew. No, thank you, please. Okay. So I'm just going to try and fly in the valley as low as I can. We're just below Afterburner. My trim is pretty neutral. I love Operator Drewski. A lot of faster planes. Planker and the F-16, the F-18. I've been watching his stuff. It's hard. There's so much to catch up on, and a lot of the videos are all 20 minutes plus. So I'm doing my best. I'm trying to focus on uh, whether... You know, like I'll, I'll rotate. So I'll do basic stuff, which is done in a training format. And it's, uh, you know, it's a lot to digest sometimes. So in some sense, I'll just turn off my brain and, and just watch some action, some battles, some stuff. I feel like I could probably get lower than this. Ah, cloud cover. Surely this will help me fly. Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go. The roll is real responsive compared to the pitch. The pitch is responsive, but like, it, it's, I don't know, it's a little disorienting because the roll I've got to be real gentle with and then the pitch I've got to like really fucking crank it sometimes, so it's just something I'll need to get used to. Okay, so right over the top of the mountain, let me roll and we go down into that. Fantastic. I probably could have kept a smooth motion and continued rolling in the same direction instead of what I did, but that's fine. Okay, let's get some leaves in our engines. This is fine. Woo! Got me close there. I should have gone more down with that. That's okay. Should have pulled back a little more. Woo! Shit, 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 shit. All right, so I think I see what I did wrong. It's fine. It's fine. Boop. <laughs> I have not watched any of his A10 vids. I should. I should. I've been mostly just watching the F16 because that's that's what I have the trial on. That's what I'm trying to learn right now. Oh man. Uh, do you run axis curves on your stick? I do actually. Maybe you guys could help me set up. Uh, the curves for that. I don't do it with the external program. The Thrustmaster uh, software has given me trouble. Just like a ton of trouble. So I don't really worry with it. Okay, so let's check out roll first. I like my roll being where it is. Like, it's a good level of sensitivity in my opinion. Um, It just, you know, there's a lot less air resistance when you're rolling. Um, so maybe my pitch needs to be adjusted. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> Squirrel's got another one. <laughs> you can use flaps in an emergency to get more pitch. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so that's the air brake flaps, right? I need to test that because I think I have the right button set up. Curves are nice. Okay, so for my pitch, I want to have control in the low end for for just micro adjustments but yeah i think it's just you know that's just how planes work like i'm gonna have more air resistance because like you said i'm essentially making an air break out of the plane as i do that f16 doesn't do manual flaps okay then maybe i'm not understanding what flaps meant 
decent curves, a little high, but usable. X-Wing versus TIE Fighter? Hell yeah. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is actually pretty good, honestly. And it's nice in VR. Okay, so let's let's go back in. Let's go back in. Instant action. Let's do takeoff again so I can practice that. Just be mindful of your input. Yes, Obi-Wan. Yeah, um, building the muscle memory is, is going to be the big thing, I think. We'll enter. This mission starts with your aircraft on the runway, ready for takeoff. You may fly the plane route or just explore the area. There are no threats. Okay. Oh, no wheel steering. That's probably important, yeah. I'm used to having it on by now. Those wheels steering off. One seventy. I'm gonna pull back. There we go. Put up the landing gear and bring it out of afterburner. Okay. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, F two. So air brake. There we go. That is my air brake button. And they will stay out. It said momentary on the keybinds, but it's not looking momentary. And so that puts them back. Okay. Cool. So you need to fly around being goofy until you have a good feel for what the deck can do. Okie doke. Yay. That's what I'm good at. It. I'm good at that. Um, I want to test my countermeasures here too. So this is aft countermeasure. At least it should be. Uh, left, right, forward. Okay. They're not doing anything, so maybe I need to actually arm my countermeasures? You need to arm them in the cockpit by my left knee. Oh. Okay, why is head turning doing this? Is my hair in the way? Hello. Hello, McFly. Uh, what panel is it under? Fuel, IFF. Oh, wait, wait. It's coming to me. I'm probably looking directly at it. Ah, ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, it says they're on. I'll turn them all on. Go from standby to main horse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, thank you. Okay. Okay, so now... That one's not working. Left does not work. Okay, so that is my forward countermeasure. Oh, and it's just going. Do How do I turn it off? Oh no! It's still going, I'm not holding it. Okay. Ah, okay, so left does one at a time. Backwards doesn't do anything, and forward does a stream of them. Runs a program, okay. And I can stop it by hitting left. Okay, then question. Uh, search. Oh no. Not measures. So, forward is the auto fire, left is the single fire. Do I need right and aft? Do I need these? Is this a different thing than the flare? Or can I kind of free up some buttons with that? And I'm talking just for my basic level use of of, of the jet. Also, uh, P Pistol B, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Uh, in standby mode, okay. 
when the flares don't work, right? Like, oh no. Thank you guys for explaining everything, by the way. Thank you for taking the time to do that. I really do appreciate it. I am really enjoying the challenge of this game, and uh, I'm excited to learn as much about it as I can and get good at it. I've actually got um, brackets and mounts coming in from Monster Tech, so I ordered a uh, bracket for my T-16000, and uh, I ordered a left bracket for a Gladiator, I'm trying to save up for one of those, and then I got the mouse pad extensions, and I, I got all the cool stuff. Kind of need them all. Okay. Then I'll leave them there. I will leave them there. Get in there on Growling Sidewinder, you'll do fine. Yeah, no, 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 no. I literally, okay, help me with this. Help me understand. I cannot fire. Let's turn laser arm on. Uh, that should be good. Master arm is on. And I have my detent 2 set to trigger. I cannot fire guns. I can fire- do I even have- okay, yeah, like- well, I guess I can't dummy fire without a lock. Okay. But I know- I know kind of how to fox too, a little bit. Well, I guess I don't if that's over there. not there. Oh, there we go. Weapon. Nope, that's not it either. How do I set it to bore? Oh, crap. Okay, so clearly I need to learn my MFDs more. Uh, the gun only works when you're... Oh, okay. Cool. Here we go. <gasps> Thank you! That makes so much sense. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Where's my trim? My trim is fine. That is... Dude, it is vomiting bullets. I love it. Well, now I want to shoot something. What? Oh, I screwed this up too, it looks like. zoom button, no good. I'm gonna set this to a different mode. There we go. Set this to 80. Set this to 30. We're gonna reposition this guy to the center. And we're gonna raise this up just a bit. Okay. I don't even know that there are hostiles on here. No, there's just a bunch of friendlies I could practice shooting down. VIP for the day! I don't actually know how to set that up. Also, you're a mod. I don't think I can VIP you. Hang on. Prime Gaming tier. Please subscribe for moderator. I don't know how to VIP you. Oh, God. Slash VIP. Uh, here we go. Yay! You're the VIP! I don't know what that lets you do. Okay, you're limited to five nautical miles in dogfight. I assume NM is nautical miles? Alright. Oh, that's where that line comes from. That's showing the trail for my... Ah, that's so handy! That's what that meant. Okay, I kept seeing that in vids, and I'm like, is that the horizon line being weird? What's going on? Uh... Still in dogfight mode. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's cool. Big 
big zoom. figure it out again. Oh, I didn't want to swap those. Oh no, I ruined everything. Um. No, that's not what I wanted. I'm just clicking things at this point. There we go. Okay, it's the FCR. I should probably know what that means, but I've forgotten. I'm gonna have to rewatch those vids. That's okay. Hit the AA button up front. Oh, air to air. Duh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Yep, yeah, and then there's air to ground. Okay, cool. And then I'm not soy, but I can... There we go. One of my down a few more to go. Looks up the radar and SMS pages automatically. Fire control radar. That's right, that's what F FCS fire control radar. Okay. Oh, I am actually seeing people on my radar though. So I guess I could try and dogfight. Let's see, where are they? They're at 31,000 feet. Yeah, they're a good ways above me. Let's see if I can lock them. I don't seem to be able to. What was my button for that? Mm -hmm. I'll have to try and remember. Splash one mod. You fool, you've fallen for one of the classic blunders. Wait, does making you the VIP make you not a mod? Splash one mod, I like it. Okay, we have visual. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some really bad things here and try and practice with my gun. Okay, they're not other players. Yes, you definitely lose your spot in the dungeon. Remember, remember, it's only a war crime if there are survivors. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's, um... I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oof. Fucking, fucking yikes. <clears throat> it's probably fine. Okay, I'm gonna take this opportunity to go ahead and plug myself, phrasing. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Twitch panels down in the About section. Uh, you'll find my Twitter, Instagram, Discord. I think there's a YouTube link down there. I'm not certain. There might not be. I don't even have anything on my YouTube, so don't worry about it. Um, and my car has an Instagram, which is at the top of my Instagram. Uh, but I don't actually have a link to my car's Instagram down there yet. Have you discovered the helmet site yet? No have not. I know it's in the F-18. I wasn't sure if it was also in the F-16. Um, but I have not discovered it yet. Oh, these are both F-16Cs. Okay, cool. Same place as the countermeasures. Brightness knob, turn that up. Okay, so same place as the countermeasures, which is right down here. Topology, is that it? Is it this program one? Oh, it is this. 
Oh, I don't like the way turning works. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so up and down. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's rad. That is super cool. Thank you. 104th Fallen, you've been immensely helpful, and so has everyone else on here. Thank you guys for answering my questions. I know I have a lot of stupid ones. Um, this, this game is very daunting, especially for new players, especially starting out. Like, it just, there's a lot that you need to know. Like, for example, that this guy is a friendly, but we're going to shoot him anyways. I don't know why, but we're doing it. So when you're in dogfight mode, you can use the helmet to aim the radar in box two. Is oh, multitasking. All right, we're going to slow down a bit. All right, I'm trying to lose a little airspeed. Damn, I missed. All right, let's try and go up. This is also my first time like looking at a target while flying separately, actually using the head tracking, you know? Okay. Woof. I am rough on the stick. Yeah, it's a bit far. Try and catch back up. Can be disorienting, it is a little. Free to tell me no 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 you are immensely helpful we will dab takes a few weeks uh stick with it oh i'm definitely going to i have so much fun in this game even though i don't like i have yet to do shit other than take off and land how's my fuel oh fine um yeah i i haven't done shit in this game but i still have a ton of fun you know what let's Let's try and get over to this guy. I should have used my rudders to try and aim that just a bit better. Far, yeah. Okay. What is the range that these will actually go? I should really be using trim to kind of take care of this. Ooh, I, I got a hit. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm not, but you know. Getting it on target is a lot harder than I thought. Eject? Actually, I'm gonna try and land. Okay, let me let me try and check this real quick. I'm gonna reset. There we go. Trim looks pretty good. Let's see. That's me. Uh, where's the airstrip? Oh, airstrip's all the way over here. Okay. Can I set this as a waypoint? I bet there's a way to do that. So... How do I close the map again? F1. It should be like over that way. Not from the F10 map. Okay. That makes sense. It would it would need to be like from an MFD if I had the ability to do so. Oh, also, I don't actually know which way it was forward on my little marker. Oh, you can't tell from the markers which way is forward other than the direction you are going. So that's that's getting closer. We'll try and land. We'll see how that goes. 
heading and direction is a cooler tool. Fly like 290 heading. Okay, so my heading right there is at 290. Awesome. We'll check that. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. So it's a ruler tool, huh? I don't know. That follows me. I'm trying to stay below the cloud so I can see it. I can drag a line and get a range and heading if you want. Hang on. All right, let's chill a bit on the speed, first of all. Set my trim. There we go. I'm dragging and it's just dragging the map. Right click doesn't seem to do anything. Middle mouse click doesn't seem to do anything either. Should I drag from myself? No. Click from your jet to the... Oh, right mouse button. Hmm. Click the icon first. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything. I'll need to watch a whole ass video on that for sure. Okay, let's see if I can... It'll be past the river. There we go. I see the river, so... Airstrip should be back there somewhere. Up top, rightmost button. Okay, the rightmost button up top in that group of buttons. Uh, the pencil seems to be grayed out for me. Selected this. I can't do that unless you're talking this. Markable label. No. Hmm. Button to the left of HDG. Hang on a sec. Can I pause and look at this? Ah, that's much safer. Okay. HDG. This one. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Uh oh, what have I done? What have I done? Stop this. Okay, so my heading is 278 and I am 12 nautical miles out. 12.5. 12.05. Okay, cool. Ah, thank you. Uh, let's see. Beanie Josh, thank you so much for the uh, tip there. I appreciate that. Tenth button from the left on the top. You really did count that out. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it just unpaused automatically. So heading 278, which is basically where we're heading. We are 12 miles out, so... Uh, I don't have eyes on it yet, or maybe I do and I'm just too dumb to know it. That's always a good option, too. Oh yeah, we're gonna be a while. So it probably is that next set right there. Seeing a couple bigger buildings, those might be hangars. Line up a bit further out. Shouldn't the E H S I try to get? I don't know what that is. All right, our heading should still be two seven eight. So I'm gonna find the airport and then I'm gonna do a pass on it, and uh, maybe that's it right there. Maybe it's that horizontal starting at fifty five. I'll figure out what my facing needs to be, and I'll come back around. Oh no, it is directly to my left. Oh, there it is! Right the fuck in front of me! Okay. Um, I don't know airport etiquette. Which way would be the landing? Is it the one on... Well, they're taking off on that one, so probably not that one. Or maybe it would be that one, just at a different time. 
land into the wind. Ah. My fan says it's blowing that way, but I don't think that's helpful for a game. How do I see wind direction in here? Also, I'm doing this directly in front of- Okay, no, I'm out of the way, kind of. A little bit. Oh, flight control is gonna be so pissed. Same direction that plane is taking off. Okay. So I would land down there. Okay, so we're just gonna do another hard G. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna give myself some space here. Right. I do have a head tracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I have to check on ATIS or look for a flag. Permission to buzz the tower? Ugh. I think we already did. Okay. Ten nautical miles away and follow the glide slope. We're gonna come in a little hot. That's fine. This is not gonna be like a, a, a landing landing. This is gonna be a let's just hope Ash doesn't crash the plane kind of landing. All right, I'll get basically lined up. Oh, I should probably put my gear out before I fully... This is gonna be real bad. We're coming in real hot. You know, but it's fine. I should be using trim to kind of even this out. Okay, what I don't remember, we're not gonna be able to land. Oh, it's that direction. We'll try from the other side because I thought they were taken off from that one and uh, turns out that's not actually the case whatsoever, so. It's the good thing this is not where anyone else is here and I'm not inconveniencing anyone's day except my own. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Rapid unplanned disassembly. You're, you're gonna kill me. Ah. I can't breathe. Okay. I'm gonna be around 160 knots for the landing. A firm. Understood. I see the plane that we almost killed. I still have my landing gear down, I'm pretty positive. I am not lined up at all. All right, we're gonna set the throttle way down. I forgot I had a curve on that. Okay, what I don't know is when I do land, do I put the nose down at first and then pull up on it once I'm slowed enough? I'm coming in so crooked. This is gross. This is this is real bad. This is gonna be one of those uh, I didn't make it kind of landings. I don't have time to look at chat, so we're just gonna guess on what we're supposed to do with the nose. Yeah, this is so hot. Oh god. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna need to activate nose wheel steering at some point, but not anytime soon because we are going way too fucking fast without pulling up on the nose. Oh, we were still going too fast. You know, I feel like I had the right idea. Okay. Come back around again. You're back up. We've got 300 or below speed. I'm not bingo fuel. What the hell is that noise? It's 
Touch and Go's how pilots learn to land. <gasps> Thank you for making me feel less bad about my shitty performance. Let's throw on approach, A firm. Runway is long enough. You can keep the nose up for aerodynamic brake. Short, the nose come down and get on the brakes. A firm, okay. Proximity again, maybe. I want to keep speed around 160 ish, so I, I really do need to be far back. My big thing is tracking it, like trying to keep my eye on exactly where it is so I can line up to it. The cloud cover is not helping. Okay. Oh, now I'm bingo fuel. That's probably fine. Well, the, not not sitting in afterburner would probably help. No, come on, we're, we're we're fine. We're fine. Suck it up. Now nah, we're still gonna be too hot for this. I need to I need to lose some uh, some speed. I'm stalling. Okay. All right, this landing is going to be a little better. A little less hot. Not a whole hell of a lot, though. All right, we'll start adjusting trim. Yep, I know, I know, I know our feels bad. I know our feels bad. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, touchdown, touchdown. Oh, that was, that was rough. Come on, come on. Nose wheel steering. That was not Tokyo Drift. Did I have my lights on? Oh, I did have my lamps on. I left them on the whole time. This is fine. We didn't blow up. Let's celebrate. That's my favorite thing to do in this game. I promise I'm not gonna behave like this on an actual server. I just, don't judge me. You're not, that's not my first landing. That's my sixth landing. I'm six for seven out of successful landings at this point. You're gonna post that near miss clip or not? I'm hoping one of my mods actually clipped it because that would be great. Okay, and then, oh, yeah, we're good. Yay! This is fine. Oof. Ah! Ah, I just fell right on my headless ass. Just in the middle of the runway. There's my frickin' uh... Well, I can't zoom anymore, but that that's my canopy. My human has tank controls. Beanie, thank you. I'm gonna watch that in just a second. Ooh, I've got a lot of uh, missed frames in here. I'm gonna have to optimize my game a bit. I apologize if the stream is laggy. Yeah, we did it. I'll just, I'll just leave it here for the crew chief to clean up. It's fine. It's not my problem anymore. I don't have a job anymore. Bye. Ah, that was fun though. I learned so many things. Thank you guys for the help. That was that was awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so how do you how do you friends in this? Is it just joining servers? I'm not gonna join a server. 
But is there like a friends list? So I'd like to add some people to, to my friends list if I could. No friends list. Okay. Just service. Gotcha. Okay. Um, then if anyone feels like it, you are more than welcome to join my Discord, which is down in the Twitch panels under the About section. Um, let me see. If I do use social, that should show the Discord. Social. There we go. There's a link to the Discord if anyone wants to join. There's no pressure to. Um, thank you guys for the help. That was super fun. I learned many things. I finally learned how to fire the guns. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Uh, 104, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate all of the help that you have given me. There was no backseating, like, like I know you were worried about that. You did perfect. Another thank warrior you. has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Uh, Ramingham. Ooh. Ramingham. I like that name. What's up? Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Oh, that landing was, was fun. Friends list equal favorite servers. Ah, uh -huh. that makes sense. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Uh, Gork? Gork, did I say that right? Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday as well. Um, thank you guys for helping me learn all of this stuff. This is a lot. It's definitely a lot. Um, I've been playing this for just under a week at this point and most of my playtime has been not actually playing but watching videos on how to play and it's so nice to be able to just ask questions so thank you guys for helping me in the chat and being patient with me um i know you're doing your best to explain in chat when it's like 10 seconds behind what i'm talking about and stuff and you guys are doing really great i i cannot thank you enough dcs is a wormhole so like for real I'm not good at this game yet, but I feel so cool and accomplished for doing anything in this game, right? When I first learned to take off, I was just like, that was the coolest shit ever. That was so awesome. Holy shit. And it's literally like, Wags told me exactly what to do and I just did it. That's, it wasn't even hard. It was don't over rudder and pull back on the stick. That's it. But still, it felt so awesome. And the first time I landed in here, I'm not going to count that because I didn't know what my brakes were. I actually, I was landing the, um, what is, what is the default? The, yeah, the SU-25T. I couldn't find the runway. I'm like, I, I don't care. I don't have time for this. I put it down in a field. I didn't know what my brakes were. So it was six fields, but I didn't hit anything and I landed. That's successful. But that felt good too. I was like, oh man, that was really embarrassing i'm glad no one saw it but i felt cool about it like dcs is just it is a feeling and and i've not had that feeling anywhere else in a game before i'm really really enjoying it incredibly rewarding when you get things right yes yes it really is feeling continues the whole time you play it just so i'm i'm watching like drewski right and he's able to bring the target to guns just real smooth and quick and i'm like okay yeah i could do that yeah i could do that um you know and i play i play other stuff with my hodas so I'm, I'm not like untrained or anything but doing it in here he makes it look so easy he makes it look so easy and it's just not and the more i'm getting into this the more i'm starting to to see things and you know as like a lay person you're just like oh that's cool i don't know if they're doing good or if they're doing bad but as you get into it more, you're like, oh, they just did that? That's incredible. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I have a really good feeling every time I play this. Uh, especially when you pull off a flight with friends and have some narrow escapes and shenanigans. Yes, that would be such a good feeling. Like the clip. Actually, let, let, me, let me pull that up. This is going to be just terrible. You know, but it's fun. Ugh, is that my voice? I hate it. Um, switch this to here, mute the music. All right, turn this down just a bit. You know, but it's fine. I should be using trim to kind of even this out. Okay, what I don't remember, we're not gonna be able to land. Oh, it's that direction. 
we'll try from the other side because I thought they were taken off from that one and uh, turns out that's not actually the case whatsoever, so. <laughs> that you was know, but... so incredibly close. <laughs> like in the moment, I was like, man, that was close. But I didn't actually process how fuck I was just like, oh, I didn't die. I'm not gonna look. I don't know how that didn't hit me. I scared the shit out of that other pilot, though. Huh. Okay. Anyways, this game is a blast. I'm having a ton of fun with it. Thank you guys for um, all of your help. I will have much more questions, but I am doing a lot of my own research. I'm not... I'm I'm not going to be that person that just, you know, oh, I want to do this, but have everyone else do all the work for me and just hand it to me. Like, I want to work for this. This is fun. This is a challenge. I'm into it. <laughs> you can see the terror on the other pilot's face. Oh, man. It was so intense. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and raid somebody. Let's see who is streaming with DCS World. <clears throat> one of us, one of us, so say we all. Another warrior has the taken Kool the Mandalorian crew. <laughs> Pixie, thank you so much for the follow and for offering to be a scissors partner. At least I think you are offering. Um, thank you, seriously, that was fantastic. Uh, video, oh, right, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, before we go, we gotta watch the worm video. Another warrior has taken the Mandalorian Creed. Okay, so this is the April Fool's announcement. Uh, let's see. Beanie, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it and appreciate you getting that clip. That was fantastic. Uh, this is the um, War Thunder April Fool's Day trailer. So let's watch this real quick. I like it. I actually really liked the new Dune movie. I liked it a lot. Yes, especially the like dragonfly ships that they had. Oh man. Okay, so wait, is this playable, Vero? Did they actually add all this to the game or is it just the cinematic? It's playable. Ooh. Okay. For like three weeks. Okay. That's cool. Please tell me they have giant sandworms. You have to. You can literally just watch the Doom for like the 20th time tonight. I've not seen the original one from the 80s. I need to. Oh, okay. I love the look of those. Worm Thunder. That's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Hellgate. Who's playing? What does? Oh, there's Grey Wolf. <gasps> yeah, we're gonna raid Grey Wolf. Let's do it. I don't wait. I don't know if that's the same Grey Wolf that was in here. Either way, we're gonna raid this person now. Oh. Free advertising. Uh, anyone else does it so many ways and leaves at the... Oh, okay. Good night, friend. Thank you. You as well. Okay. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. Uh, thank you again for all your help. I know I've said that a billion times, but I cannot stress it enough. I have just been watching videos and not really had anyone to talk to about DCS, so I, I deeply appreciate the help uh, and the, the patience. I think I'm ready for the Kool-Aid. I, I want more. I want a lot more of this. And anytime I've, I've played it over the last week, I'm just like, yes, okay, no more. 
no more. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I like it. Um, Bjorn, thank you for being here. Congrats on being the VIP for the night. I think I have to remod you now. River Red, it was so good to see you again. I'm glad you're having a good time at your new job. Uh, 104th, thank you again for all of the help. You guys are fantastic. Vero, thank you for sharing that vid with me and for the biddies. Uh, Nan, the ornithopters were so good. They really were. They really were. Food Angel hated them. She thought they were stupid. She hated the whole movie, but that's okay. Yeah, I have to remod you. Okay, I will do that. When you get in there, make sure to tell them hi and send some wolf emotes. Let them know what the wolf pack is here. Give them a follow. Show them some love. I will see you guys on Monday at 8 p.m. Central. Have a good one. Bye. Where are... Bum, bum, bum. There we go. There we go. I love it. <laughs> What's up? That's the How's best raid alert. Thanks, Ashlyn, for the raid. Welcome. Oh, no. I got modded. How was the stream uh, with the Viper? The check is, uh, Viper. With the... It is Grey Wolf. Playing some uh, Apache here with the homies. Hang on. My emotes are working. Uh, waiting on uh, a buddy of mine to get back from walking the dog to All hop right, in bye. my CPG.